What's going on guys? If you're not ready for a yap session, then this probably won't be for you. But I'm going to yap after I make my point, or rather my question. And the question kind of is, is Xbox, you know, dying? Because some of the numbers aren't adding up and they're just slightly confusing. Don't get me wrong, some of these stats might be just a little off and might be off by like a year. But I think they're still close enough to kind of generate a question for me. Now this question was not my own. It was actually a TikTok that kind of popped up. And it was mostly taking a jab at Xbox because of the Wukong game. Uh, which Wukong, pretty much the creators, uh, the reason why, and jokingly, I guess, or maybe they're just being assholes. Basically, it was dogging on Xbox because they asked, why is it not coming to Xbox quicker, or at least day one? And they pretty much mocked it saying, well, you need to get your player base up because you don't have enough people or enough consoles, basically to justify them wanting to jump on that console first. Now, the big reason I can kind of understand is PlayStation is a worldwide console for the most part, considering it's not even an American company, and dude, we, we buy them up, let's be honest. Uh, I mean, I've been playing PlayStation for many years. Um, Xbox is not as popular outside the U.S. It's pretty much basic knowledge at this point. And so that's making me wonder if the U.S. solely being the most, you know, uh, buying potential of Xbox is even going to keep it around. Now, it's still a lot of money, but you're talking about sheer business where they want to have the highest profit margin and if it's even justifiable. So basically, I got these three things I want to show you guys, which I took screenshots. They're very simple. It's on the Google part, but I did click on some links to kind of double check the verification. Like I said, the numbers are off a little bit, but I'm going to use the screenshots primarily just kind to drive home my point and my question. So basically, one of these things is what's kind of confusing me. So let's go ahead and go as of September 2023. The global installed base of the Sony PlayStation 5 is 46 million units and some change. Whilst the Microsoft Series S and X has an installed base 21 million units, the next generation Sony com uh, console is forecast to have highest installed base globally and 67 million by 2024, which is ridiculous. So literally almost double, or no, is double, double the units. Um, and you know, it what gets me, Xbox even had a smaller version. I bought the smaller version, uh, basically what I call the economy version because I bought it so I can still buy, you know, pay for like digital only 360 games, Xbox games, and some Xbox exclusives, Halo, stuff like that. I bought it because it was cheap, it was quick. I didn't even have a PS5 yet. And I wanted something new gen that I could play games that I haven't had in a while. And the biggest library that I haven't touched at the time was Xbox. So I bought it. It's been years ago. Uh, obviously, if you've been around my channel, one of my videos where I bought an X was definitely a need. It was definitely better. And it made me very happy. But that S came in handy. And ironically enough, I still ended up getting a PS5 anyway. But that's where the numbers kind of don't add up. So with double the amount of sales, I assume this is probably got to be U.S. only, though. Uh, and this is probably not throughout the world. And I assume the sell, you know, the, the sales are global. So I'll go ahead and throw this out there where you have the number of PlayStation Network users. Roughly, uh, the network had approximately 116 active users. Now, obviously, this is between like the app, it looks like, or just them being logged in and using it, uh, while you have 100 million Xbox Live users, which also, by the way, uh, still runs into the PC side of things because PC still has Xbox Live. Um, I have an Xbox Live account that's PC, uh, PlayStation, uh, um, Xbox. I have that uh, Xbox Live account for literally both of those things because I have Microsoft, I was already using it, and I had the computer set up. Uh, I kept it because of Game Pass. Game Pass has, I mean, it's still good games. Day one's pretty useful. It saves me a couple bucks. Uh, I say a couple bucks, a lot of money, so I don't have to buy a whole lot of console, you know, games on Xbox. Like I, like another previous video I did, uh, you know, talking about Xbox 360 games and Xbox, original Xbox games. Those are primary, uh, primarily what I'm trying to buy up just to play because they're old and they're great. I'm wondering if, uh, you know, this makes any sense, like, is the console itself dying considering it's selling half uh you know the world market is not wanting to buy xboxes and uh to kind of get down to it they're exclusives well there's diehard fans uh i'm not you know going to make fun of anybody that is like well you know what i i like here's a war more or halo more um that's why i will never get a playstation you know what it's fine if that's going to be what you like and you're not you know a fan of uncharted or you're not a fan of God of War. That's perfectly fine. I'm not even going to argue with that with you. It's probably not your 
uh, you know, what you like. Because I'm not somebody that's big on the game, you know, console wars. I don't care about Master uh, PC Race. I don't care if you're a diehard PlayStation fan or Xbox fan. I prefer all of them because, uh, you know, they have exclusives. I, if they didn't, I probably would just buy the one that is more convenient for me. Now, there was also a bit of an issue. It's been years ago, but if you remember, Xbox had a bit of an issue because they didn't turn... A profit at the time I don't remember how long it took I want to say it took two full console generations before they did I think it was Xbox one is when they finally started to turn a profit because originally you know the original Xbox was them just getting into the market which is expected to have losses uh, they were trying to get into the market while they were pretty much only PC especially with the dominating PlayStation Xbox came in when PlayStation was on their second console and uh, pretty much Nintendo was uh, but throwing out the GameCube, which still blew everybody out of the water just because it was like $199 and $99, whatever. Super cheap, very convenient. And basically, they were going to lose. But Xbox 360, remember, had the Red Ring of Death. And that caused a lot of problems. A lot of people were scared. And I remember I didn't get an Xbox just because of that. And ended up uh, settling for the PlayStation because not only that, the exclusives were better to me. Infamous, I rocked with that. I thought it was amazing. Infamous was really cool. I like the uh, good and evil aspect of it. Well, it's pretty basic now. Really, really cool back then. Second, um, you know, God of War. Yet again, like I said, God of War was great. God of War 3 was coming out on it. I couldn't say no. Um, another one was Uncharted. Uncharted 2 was already coming out, and that's what kind of hooked me to it. Those three games alone was just pretty much it. It sold me. So uh, it's not that I hated Xbox, I just, I didn't have a lot of money, so I had one console to pick from. Now that I'm an adult man-child with an adult job, I, you know, can't afford a few extra commodities, which would be an extra console. So it makes it easier now that I can't really say, oh, I like this one better than this one. I will say, arguably, the Xbox is more powerful. I definitely uh, can see where games play better on it, but it's just a lot easier and more convenient for me to stay on PlayStation because I've already got an established, you know, trophy list, and I want to restart that. I don't know why, maybe because I just like to see the dings, and since I already have all those trophies, I just don't want to lose them. I don't want to start back over with, like, gamer score. Uh, nothing against it, it's just I've already started it. I've already got trophies, and I don't want that to go away. But yeah, these numbers are just absolutely boggling me. Like I said, it started with TikTok. There was just a few TikTok uh, videos where they're talking about, you know, when they said, hey, you don't have a big enough audience. And that's what made me look into it. Well, yeah, the live users would suggest otherwise. But like I said, I think this is U.S. only. This is not uh, throughout the world. I didn't see global on there. Two of the three, uh, you know, sources were the same. So I'm assuming they're at least pretty wildly correct or accurate, as close to accurate as, you know, it can be. And while cross-referencing a little bit, it wasn't off by much. All the numbers pretty much ran around 100 million each, 130 million for PlayStation, 100 million for Xbox. And like I said, uh, 46 to 23, or it was like 50, or they wanted to roughly say like 45 uh, to like 22 or some shit. It was it was very close. It was not. Uh, it was very close to the numbers that I just gave you. So I'm just really wondering, like, is that going to be enough to keep going? I don't even know. I think Xbox is turning a profit, but they're probably not turning a profit the same way PlayStation is because PlayStation is just they're throwing it out there. I mean, and they're they they're still got their mainline games. You know, their console exclusive games are still coming out. While Xbox has got some you know console specific games. But let's be honest, some of them don't stay, right? And uh, they haven't had a new release of Halo, which could take forever for, you know, for another one to come out. Gears of War, been a kind of, uh, you know, lukewarm reception to a lot of it. While I think it looks cool, and I'll still play it because, you know, Gears of War is still fun to me. I don't think a lot of people liked it as much as they did, like, the first three, especially the first two. And then, top it off, uh, you know, there hasn't been any other Xbox-exclusive Titles Fable has been on hiatus for, hell, I don't know, 15 years? Oh yeah, quick post edit, uh, I meant to mention. Uh, Halo Online, obviously, is still, like, going strong, and, uh, and I know Fable's actually about to come out. I didn't mention that, I don't know why. But, yeah, these are two things I did know, I just completely forgot to mention that. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much at this point, just, Xbox doesn't have the exclusives. Now, I have buddies that still play Xbox, uh, I will say, like I said, more powerful console definitely it holds a steadier frame rate and it definitely holds true to the fact that it is a powerhouse um, but it is a goofy little mini fridge but uh, I'm not gonna lie uh, I bought it because I primarily still want to play other games on it uh, that I still haven't bought yet and like I said I got that 360 so now I can play some more classic games so you know Xbox has still got a place 
I'm just, I really would hate to see them go out because they pretty much, for one, got screwed over by Sony to where they couldn't do that buyout, which would not have affected the market as much. They just want to get pissy because uh, there was some stuff going around saying that Call of Duty is the only reason why PlayStation is even still functioning and still, you know, making money, which I, I don't know. I can't believe that. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't even care to look it up. I think it's just a, a stupid thing that if that's even true. Equally dumb. If it's a lie, it's dumb to make that lie. And if it's true, it's just equally stupid because if you're riding on just Call of Duty making you money, that was really stupid. But yeah, guys, tell me what you think. That's all I got to say. Y'all have a good one.